The Shia's belief in their theology is that God gave the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his respected family, 12 disciples, 12 successors, just as we believe Jesus, peace be upon him, had 12 disciples and successors. Moses, peace be upon him, he had 12 uh, disciples and successors. So you see the significance to the number 12. Many of God's prophets, they had 12 successors and disciples. And, prof, and our last prophet is not an exception to that. He has 12 disciples and successors. The first one was his cousin, Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Uh, we believe God gave him the authority after the prophet. And he was the religious authority. After him are, tw are 11 imams. So he's the first and we have 12. Now each and every one of them were killed and martyred. Um, either they were beheaded by the sword, by the evil tyrants of their time, or they were poisoned. All of them were killed. God sent um, these gems to lead humanity, but that's how human beings are. They reject the people of God. People don't like the truth. It goes against their own personal interests. So they kill these many men of God, just like many prophets who were killed uh, throughout history. So they killed all the uh, 11 Imams. Now we come to the time of the 12th Imam. We're talking about two and a half centuries now after the time of the Prophet. About two and a half centuries. Uh, in year 255 in the Islamic calendar, so that's two and a half centuries after the Prophet, the Mahdi, the, 11th, the, the 12th Imam was born. He was born in the city of Samarra which is in northern Iraq, northwest of Baghdad. His father, the 11th Imam, he was exiled there by the Abbasid Caliph of the time. He exiled him there uh, because the Imams, they were in Medina. That was their city, the city of their grandfather, the city of the Prophet. They exiled them to Samarra. So the, the 12th Imam was born there. Now, we believe that the 12th Imam is the Savior. We believe God has two Saviors for humanity. One is Jesus, peace be upon Him, and the second is the Mahdi. And they will join forces at the end of the time to establish justice on earth before the Day of Judgment. Uh, we have very specific narrations that speak about this. I can mention some of them. So the Mahdi was born in year 255. He was five years old when his father was killed and martyred. So he was a boy of five years old when his father died. God protected him. And he went into official occultation or absence. And ever since, ever since he's been absent, for the first 70 years, he had four deputies, four ambassadors, who served as liaisons between him and the Muslim community. Four ambassadors. So if you wanted access to the Mahdi, you had a question, you had a problem that you wanted to be solved, you had to go through one of these four. And he appointed them to be as his representatives. When the fourth one died, the Mahdi had told the Muslim community that he's the last. After him, there will be no formal ambassador. And God wants to test human beings. This is the final test of God. I will go into occultation. And God has miraculously kept him alive uh, this time. Just as we believe the Quran says, for example, uh, Prophet Noah, he had a long life. He lived over a thousand years. We believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is still alive. For 2,000 years he's been alive. He's in heaven. And at the end of time, God will give him permission to come to earth and to establish peace and justice. So uh, Jesus is older than the Mahdi. The Mahdi is about a thousand, hundred something years old. Jesus is 2,000 years old. Uh, there are other prophets who had long lives. So God, the all-powerful, for a plan, He's kept him alive. He is here on earth, the Mahdi. But people don't have direct access to Him. What he wants his followers to do is to be pious and establish social, political, and economic justice. 
Because the Prophet was very clear that the Mahdi's mission is to fill the earth with justice and equity just as it is filled with injustice and oppression. That's the goal of the Mahdi. Now, we believe that towards the end of time, God will give him permission, he will reappear. He will be joined by Jesus in Jerusalem. Jesus will come down to earth in Jerusalem. The Mahdi will go there uh, to Jerusalem as well. And we have narrations that tell us the Muslims, the Christians, the people of the book, they will unite. When they see the Mahdi and Jesus praying together and everyone praying uh, behind them, this will unite uh, the people of God and the people of religion and the people of the book. Ooh.